sir as you rightly mentioned about combustion diagnostics so we would like to know more about what exactly this combustion diagnostics is and how this techniques are being used in the combustion diagnostics we would like to know this from you yeah that that's very interesting uh, area the energy transition that we talk about uh, we are trying to move towards a cleaner engine because the existing fossil fuel that we consume uh, has a lot of bad impacts on our environment to mitigate that we have to improvise this combustion so what we say by improvisation means like the diesel engines which used to emit a lot of soot or the carbon uh, the carbon dioxide emissions which are high we have to work on how do we reduce these harmful emissions so typically what we do is we try to go to the basics of these phenomena the physical phenomena which are happening how does soot form so soot formation happens right at the middle of your uh, flame and those phenomena are highly transient it goes on less than a millisecond or a microsecond time time scale it happens and unless until we do understand this physical phenomena we cannot move further to improvise the system that is where these optical techniques the laser based optical techniques come into picture what happens is like you are able to understand those transient at yeah. the same time you are also not disturbing that phenomena which is occurring in that uh, environment okay. that is where the techniques that we have developed help